for us is very important, not only because this is the first boat that is going to arrive in Gaza um, via this maritime corridor, because uh, we know there is, has been a naval blockade from Israel since over 20 years ago. So for us, makes us really, really um, happy and proud of, of that this is happening. Israel, and you also stand accused of starving the Palestinian children. Are you, is Israel starving children in Palestine or in Gaza? You know, I think, Senator, the reality is that there are children who are starving but in Gaza. But is Israel doing that? It, they're starving, they're malnourished as a result to the fact that humanitarian assistance can't get to them. It's very difficult to distribute humanitarian assistance effectively unless you have a ceasefire. نمادین دولت آمریکا در ارسال کمک های انسان دوستانه از طریق هوایی خب این هم یک اقدام مزهک دیگری است که تبدیل به یک نمایش خنده آور و در این حال تلخ برای افکار عمومی منطقه و برای ملت مظلوم فلسطین شده اینها نشان دهنده این هست که دولت آمریکا در راستای توجیه سیاست جنگ طلبانه خودش در کنار رژیم سیونیستی به دنبال اون هست که با برخی اقدامات مزهک و نمایشی I can't offer any timeline, sadly, at, uh, at the moment. The situation is very complicated on, uh, on the ground. Uh, the, we are not near uh, a deal, meaning that we are not seeing uh, both sides converging on, uh, on a language that can uh, resolve the, you know, the current disagreements over the implementation of, um, of the deal. But uh, we remain hopeful, and we continue pushing for, for a deal to happen in, uh, in the near future. As I was just uh, saying, we were all hoping that uh, the people of uh, Gaza can receive the holy month of, uh, of Ramadan with some notion of peace, some notion of normalcy, and uh, sadly we, that did not uh, happen. All of us were pushing towards uh, that happening before uh, the beginning of Ramadan, however we had, that did not deter us from continuing uh, the work and the negotiations to reach a, a deal hopefully within uh, the confines of, uh, of Ramadan.